students welcome back the topic for this discussion is disease triangle now to start with i would like to first explain the concept behind the relationship between host pathogen and environment so disease triangle is more of a concept that correlates these three components which together in harmony produce uh, produce disease so you see in this triangle over here you have host you have pathogen and you have environment each of these components each one has got a very special role in the development of disease okay since we are talking about plant pathology over here so the host is the plant you can understand the host is the plant the pathogen is the disease causing microorganism right disease causing microorganism and environment is a combination of biotic as well as abiotic factors see biotic factors we can have over here itself but environment is more about the abiotic factors abiotic factors among the biotic factors pathogen can also be one of the biotic factors but sometimes other biological entities are present in the environment which are not pathogen so environment is actually a the collection the home for biotic as well as abiotic components now see to have the disease in the host right certain criteria are there that needs to be fulfilled first is what you see the host let's start with the host the host will have to be susceptible if the host has got a very strong immunity okay then it's difficult for a pathogen to cause disease in this particular host but if the host is susceptible then what will happen it will fall prey to the pathogen it will contract the disease faster fine next coming to the pathogen the pathogen will have to be virulent now virulent pathogen cannot cause disease right so to successfully cause disease in the host the pathogen must be virulent right then coming to environment favorable environment is a must if the environment is not favorable the pathogen will not be able to grow and thrive in the host and thus produce disease therefore environment should favor the growth of pathogen otherwise disease will not be produced fine so this is a brief concept about disease triangle now see you might think why is the slide being written? now another group of researchers have uh, has given us an idea about two other components time and human beings these 
two parameters also these two components also have got very important role in disease development in plants. Now see over here you can see when we considered these two components we present it in the form of a three dimensional structure okay and we call this a disease pyramid you have host over here you have pathogen environment human beings and time So now we will discuss the role of these two as well. See, the host is the plant itself. It goes without saying. Some can fall victim to many diseases, while others they only suffer particular ones. Okay, it's quite easy to understand. Let's see. Plants have a range of susceptibilities to a range of diseases. And the pathogen is the disease itself, you can say. Diseases of plants are caused by fungi, bacteria, viruses. You all know, right? Fungal diseases are there, bacterial diseases are there, and viral diseases are there. Without the right host, in the right conditions, pathogen cannot cause any harm. See, this is a very important line. Suppose the pathogen is present, fine. But the particular host is not there. Then how will it cause the disease? Any pathogen cannot cause disease in any plant. Pathogens are most cases host specific okay so for disease to occur hmm, the right host must be present in the proximity of the pathogen otherwise disease cannot be produced some pathogens are specific to only one or a few host plants Others have broad abilities to attack almost every plant. Now, some pathogens are there which are very specific. They are very much host specific. Suppose a um, particular type of bacteria um, are there, like that particular group will only attack mango trees. Even if you have three apple trees in the close proximity, it will not affect. Some others are like, it doesn't matter what plant is present, they will attack. So they have got a very wide range of abilities to attack almost everything. And favorable environment essentially means the weather conditions needed for a pathogen to thrive. And if the pathogen is present and disease results, it's obviously an unfavorable environment for the plant. Yes, this has to be kept in mind. Okay. See, if the pathogen is able to produce disease, okay, the pathogen is here, the plant is here, okay, there can be types of reaction one is environment favorable the other environment not favorable if the environment is favorable for, for the pathogen disease will occur and if the environment is not favorable for the pathogen, disease will not occur. Okay, if this is the case, if this is happening, if disease is occurring, 
it means that environment is favorable for pathogen and unfavorable for the plant. Okay, the environment that supports the plant will not support the pathogen. The environment that supports the pathogen will not support the plant. Fine. Disease results only if all of these three things occur simultaneously. If one or more of the factors is not present, then disease does not occur. And it is very true. So you have this triangular relationship. All right, you have host here, you have pathogen, you have environment here. Suppose pathogen and favorable environment present, host is absent. Both are there. This host is not there. Where will they penetrate and where will they cause the disease? So, clear. Pathogen is present, host is present, favorable environment absent, and failure. Next, host is present, pathogen is, uh, environmental condition is favorable, pathogen absent. Again, mission failure. So, all the three components will have to be present and things will have to occur simultaneously in order to produce disease. The mechanisms that contribute to pathogenesis can all be thought of as modifying the disease triangle by reducing or eliminating one of the corners of the triangle. Examples include lack of defense in host obviously as I have just said if the host is susceptible, then there are chances that the plant will contract the disease faster. Efficient spore dispersal by pathogen. If the dispersal of uh, these infective propagules or spore is efficient, it will be able to cause disease more efficiently. Fine, it will reach wider number of hosts. So, uh, disease will spread faster. Weather conditions favoring spore production, spore dispersal, all these. Okay. Particular uh, temperature, moisture content, everything is required. All these are considered in spore production. So if all these are favorable, then what will happen? Spore production will be good. And once good number of spores are produced, it will be dispersed and Disease can spread and bloom. Okay. Next, coming to us. Nothing can be discussed without our role. We are so important. Humans contribute to the disease triangle because human activity in agriculture is ubiquitous. Right? Humans are already represent, uh, represented implicitly in the basic triangle configuration and this is the main counter argument against including human activity as a new vertex in a disease triangle. You know, uh, influence of human being can be perceived at many arenas like forestry, agriculture, cultivation, irrigation, everywhere you can perceive the presence of human being. We modify the environment, we genetically engineer the plants, we make them resistant, we transfer desirable genes from one plant to the other. So this is how we keep on modifying the plants. We improve cultivation processes. Okay, we genetically manipulate plants such uh, in order to hinder the life cycle of pathogens. So we have got a very important role to play in disease development. Okay. Animals and other vectors are not that essential. Okay, but, uh, sometimes vectors 
on the disease triangle side connect the host and pathogen vertices okay this uh, arrangement emphasizes the dependence of the pathogen on its vector see uh, the bacteria that causes Peer's disease is extremely flexible you know when it comes to suitable host now uh, this disease is actually caused by bacteria xylella fastidiosa but it is transmitted by sharp shooter leaf hoppers and spittle bugs both of these feed on the xylem of grape vines so you understand this is just an example so you understand uh, how important sometimes vectors are in transmission of disease next we come to time time conveys the idea that disease onset and intensity are affected by the duration that the three prime factors are aligned it's very important you know sometimes uh, it takes hours to develop the symptoms sometimes it comes very fast so time has got a very important role here okay some duration of favorable alignment is necessary for disease to occur but the length of time depends on the level of analysis right physiological events in the host that define infection can take place in minutes or hours Disease symptoms in the field can take days or weeks to appear. That is why, you know, time and human beings are also considered as a very important components of disease pyramid. Okay. This is how we come to the end of our discussion today. If you have any confusion anywhere, please feel free to get back to me in the comment section. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.